If you research about what makes a good film, you will know that the foundation of every good film is a good screenplay. And the foundation of every good screenplay is structure. With Sprite 0.6 Beta, you can now visually trace the structural elements of your screenplay. In this video, we will show you how to use the tag groups feature to mark elements on the structure canvas. Let's say you want to build a screenplay by leveraging the Save the Cat structure. So, we create 40 scenes, 10 scenes in the first act, 20 scenes in the second act, split across the midpoint, and finally 10 scenes in the third act. When we take a bird's eye view, this is how the index cards would look. We could assign distinct colors to scenes by act, so that they visually stand out. Now, we are ready to mark structural elements on the canvas by using the tag groups feature. For instance, the first scene of your screenplay has to provide the opening image. You can click on the first index card, click the tag groups menu, and check the opening image item to tag it. As soon as you tag, it gets displayed on the index card. By default, Scrite groups index cards by the act to which they belong. However, it is very useful if we can get Scrite to group index cards by their tag names. By clicking on the grouping options button in the toolbar and selecting save the cat option in the resulting menu, you can get Scrite to group index cards by their tag names. By doing so, you will also notice that Scrite highlights names on the tag groups menu that are relevant to the index card in question. Here we can notice that Scrite has highlighted B story, fun and games, and midpoint, because the index card for which the menu is shown belongs to Act 2A. Other names in the tag groups menu are not disabled. You can still check them, but it is not recommended. Let's now get back to tagging index cards. We have already tagged the first index card as opening image. The next few scenes of the screenplay will most likely set up the key characters and the world of the film, so we can tag them as setup. Maybe the last index card in setup also states the theme of the film, so we can tag that index card as theme stated. Like this, we can tag all the index cards on the structure canvas. At this point, we are only creating the foundation of the screenplay. It has no content. But, by laying the foundation, we are making it easy to create content later on. Notice how the timeline now overlays tracks on scenes to mark distinct segments of your screenplay. These segments reflect the structure elements tagged on the canvas. If you prefer to use custom tag names, you can do that very easily in Scrite. Go to Settings. Switch to Structure tab. Here you can notice names of all the structural elements from Save the Cat structure. You can simply replace or add your own tags here. For example, let's say you prefer Hero's Journey. You can simply key in names of elements from the hero's journey structure and click apply. Now you can select hero's journey in the grouping options menu and tag your index cards with elements from the hero's journey structure. Notice how index card groups on the canvas show names from the hero's journey structure as do the tracks on the timeline. With Sprite 0.6 Beta, you can access templates from our library. To create a new screenplay from a template, simply click on the Script Tale button on the toolbar. Switch to Templates tab. Select one of the templates listed there. Then click on the Open button. Scribe downloads the template from our library and opens it for you. You can simply fill your story into the structure and compose your screenplay. Whether you are writing a brand new screenplay or importing an existing one, Scrite provides you tools to trace structural elements in your screenplay effectively. Visit Scrite.io and download Scrite 0.6 Beta today. Join 2200 other writers from all around the world who are enjoying screenwriting with Scrite.